have some of my business and that they have not put so much. The dam seems to be one stretch of a hand away now. I must make haste. I doubt the Aurora will be able to wait for long. the counter react there's a hell of a lot of radioactive sediment behind that concrete and soon it will bring an end to this valley because the dam barely holds use your binoculars if you don't believe me we can't stay here yeah the no, dam is really see ah, well see that zipline those kids built it back when there wasn't as much seepage. That's where we need to go. The old man said the Aurora will soon be on the dam. We gotta hurry. I think something's wrong at the Aurora. <laughs> it seems that Anna is not doing so good. We'll know more soon. Come on, Martino. आप लोग यहाँ पे ऐसे अंदर जाओ अरे सलाम लग चुके हैं सलाम मतलब अभी बुला था यहाँ नॉन लॉक ब्लैक आई थिंक I hope Olga persuades all those guys to leave, and leaves herself. I don't like his feeling out there. Okay, the place feels so unstable. Oh man. 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 I think it smelled us. What if the bridge is going to collapse any time? Come on, move it. Not gonna go on a bridge that is broken. We cross it then I'm... I don't think this is... Like in the story or something. We will not move up the end. Something like that. Come on, bro.
again man what is happening I have to find more bombs more more there's a chip <laughs> Understand, man. I cannot understand this.
This motherfucker never dies. This should be a so mad. <laughs> I should have taken that fire thing way before. I have to provoke him or something. Yeah. Bot Mahalia. We have to provoke him or something. Yeah. It takes so much time to reload a gun here.
In this case, I bid you farewell, my fair lady. Ah, the hell with it. Olga, I'll be back. I'll be waiting. <laughs> Artyom, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Olga, remember what I told Man. you. We all remained silent while the Aurora was running along the poison sea held at bay by the dam. We believed we'd be back. Now, having seen the sword of Damocles hanging over the valley, we knew it was not meant to be. Alusha nice. is especially worried. His old guy's there. Perhaps he will be able to warn her via radio and save the people there. What happens next? I have no idea. I am ready for anything. Anything but one thing. Anna, please, hold on. Without you, I have nothing to live for, nothing to dream about. Doubly so, since if not for that dream of mine, you'd be all right now. Alright, one moment! 
tell me what happened, Nastya. Did someone bully you? No. Why are you crying then? I'm afraid. Afraid? What of? <coughs> this. I have this scarf. What if it's like Aunt Anna's? <laughs> Don't worry, Nastya. You didn't breathe any gas after all. It's just a cold. He's we'll fix it in no time. And Aunt Anna? We'll fix her too. As soon as we find the medicine, she'll start getting better. Yeah. For real? You have my word, so don't you worry. All right, I won't. My mom says the Spartans always keep their word. <laughs> that is true, Nastya. Indeed. Morgan, how you here? I'm online as promised. I hope you can hear me. Conversation is not going to be simple, I think. Until today, we thought that this shot of Noxie Pierce was a simple error. What's our moment? The legend says irradiated zones are highlighted in shades of green, while purple highlights indicate errors. Today, though, I found some small print. The thing is, radiation levels way outside of normal operational range of the scanner are also marked as errors. Simply put, the radiation there may well be completely off the scale. We're about 500 clicks from Novosibirsk, and the radiation wow. outside is almost as high as that in Moscow. Ah, the shots are 20 years old. The radiation can't be quite as high now, but still, Novosibirsk is most probably so what do you do now? After? I'll tell you what we do. Artyom and I will go. This is not right. the way. No, sir. Now I first. She is my daughter. His wife. My paranoia about the occupation forces drove her into that damned bunker. And Artyom with his dream. He dragged us out of Moscow. So we too are to blame. Still, we are the order. We are one crew and we should all act accordingly. We should all go. Discussion is closed. This is not an order mission. It is a personal errand, mine and Artyom's. We don't need any help. Second, we don't know the exact location of the medicine. It might be in the city center, or in one of the Akadem Gorodok labs. Zara's life might well end up in your hands, too. Third and last, wherever we might go, winter is coming. And getting the Aurora stuck in snow is what? That's something we can't allow. Do you remember what Yermak said? That we were in the Schlitz Railway Technology Museum at the city outskirts. We'll almost certainly find a snowplow for the Aurora there. So, gentlemen, your missions are to search the Academ Gorodot labs and prepare Aurora for the winter. Crew, get ready for the mission. Also, we are starting constant radiation level monitoring outside. Effective immediately. Sam, you're first. Yes, sir. I think that lethal radiation levels there are actually good news for us. Uh, you mean there was nobody left around the drugstores and hospitals? <laughs> exactly. Unlike the towns we keep. Let me check it already. Go, sir. An update on the suits. Yes, what's the situation? I managed to assemble only two complete ones. You see, they're for Artyom and me. It's fate, that's what it is. Will they help? Well, 
They'll protect you from dust. But even the dark radiation there is so high, it could... Yes, sir. Can you add more protection? Sure. Yonak does have some lead sheets in store. But the suits are rather bulky and heavy as it is. We aren't exactly attending a dance party there. How much time will it give us? A couple of hours. Not enough, I think. Better than nothing. Don't worry. We'll make a do. Always have. I had some net shielding to the car's cabin. Try to stay inside for as long as you can out there. Thanks. Get on it then. Yes, Commissar. case seems to be extremely unfortunate. The gas on the Volga lost the most of its still move in, but it only had eight bullets, and that just proved not enough. I came upon some bandits tormenting a family, and I just couldn't. So I snapped and got all of them, save for one. The fucker hit me hard. By the time the other people arrived, I was half dead. I thought they were angels. Anyhow, here's why I'm telling you this now. There's few of us now. Uh, uh, thank you, Anthony, for this place with these records. You can see the snowfall starting. Thank you for that. 
Sometimes I feel that it's important to not raise a hand. To not cross that line that separates a man from a beast. I don't know what's waiting for the current in that dead city. But remember that line. With the shields of war on it, soldier. Thank you. 